As promised, here is my follow-up on Camtasia Studio running on the M1 Mac. TechSmith has released a universal binary version of Camtasia for the Mac, so that means we have an Apple Silicon executable. Is it any faster? Let's find out. Just to show you the version information I'm running here, I am on Mac Big Sur version 11.4 on my M1 MacBook Air. And here are the two versions of Camtasia Studio I am comparing. This is the Mac version with the Intel executable version 2020.016. And I ran a benchmark comparing this to my Windows PC i5 processor several months ago. And over here is the latest version of Camtasia Studio for the Mac 2020-019. And this is a universal application, so it means I have an M1 Apple Silicon binary. Here is the newest version of Camtasia 2020 that I just installed on my MacBook Air, my M1 MacBook Air. And as you can see right here, the kind of application is universal. This means it includes the binaries for Apple Silicon and the binaries to run on x86 Intel. Now, just for comparison, uh, here is a Intel application so this is Intel only, and this has to run under Rosetta 2 emulation on the MacBook with M1 processors. And then finally, here is a iPad application, a game, and you can see it says it's Apple Silicon only because it will not run on the Intel CPU Max. So this is the latest version of Camtasia Studio 2020-019. This is a universal app, so it is native to the M1 Apple Silicon CPUs. I am going to export my project, Kilowatt EZ. This is the one I did before, so I can compare it to the earlier version of Camtasia Studio that was not native. All my options are set the same. Going to hit OK here, and I'm going to start the export and start a stopwatch. And we are off and running. So the bottom line is Camtasia Studio running on Apple Silicon on the M1 native is a little bit faster than running under Rosetta 2 with the Intel binary. Not dramatically faster, but remember, the MacBook Air with the M1 chip is dramatically faster than running this on the PC. You can check this video out at the link up above. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you watching. Take care.